This video is going to be how to set up the Shortel um, professional communicator with video to connect to the life-size UVC conference bridge, multi-point conference bridge. So the first thing we're going to do is you want to go to the UVC center, uh, which is the administration. And uh, this is the, the video conferencing bridge that can have multiple sessions at the same time with the Shortel communicator. If you're familiar with Shortel, it can do a point-to-point -point, uh, conversation or point-to-point -point video after a call has been established. Here we're going to show you how you can do point-to-multi-point uh, -point using the life-size uh, multi-point multi, multi -point appliance. So I'm going to click over on multi-point here. Okay, and I'm going to go under preferences. And first thing I want to do is I want to register this as a SIP device on the Shortel network. So I'm going to enable SIP. Okay, I'm going to say use the SIP registrar. I'm going to put username 595. Authorization name is 595. The password, which I believe we'll just reset, we'll call it 123456. That is the, uh, the Shoregear appliance that has the SIP proxy assigned to it, and everything else is default, uh, port 5060. Now, before I go hit apply, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Shortel system and I'm going to add a new user. All right, and we're going to call this UVC uh, video. Let's call this UVC video bridge. We'll call it extension 595. Extension only. We don't need a mailbox. Uh, we don't need any other settings here. We're going to go down to the bottom as we're going to go back here and say the client username. We'll leave that as is, but we'll change the SIP password to 123456 and the password again 123456. On the Shortel, you require six characters for the uh, SIP password. So I'm going to hit save. So now we know that that is in the system. And I'm going to go over to the UVC now. And I'm going to hit apply. We'll see what happens. Now this device is actually registered. So that is now registered to the Shortel system. So if I bring up the Shortel system again, and I'm going to go into my IP phones, what I should see down here is UVC video bridge. If I click on the UVC video bridge, you see the fact that it actually has a SIP registration. So we know that it's good to go. If I take my communicator, which I can't seem to find. My short tail communicator, if I fire that up, what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to dial extension 595. Let's dial extension 595, and what you'll see is the UVC video bridge. And I'll put this on loud. So it says, welcome to the virtual operator. Now that I've connected, I'll have to enter a conference ID. So we have a conference, is with conference 1000. Now that we're in the conference, we have a point-to-point -point connection. Now I can click on my video and click on the video and you're gonna see what's gonna happen is that I am now gonna connect my video to the UVC conference bridge. So I'm now connected, but it doesn't really do anything because I don't have more than one user on here. So it's really point to, you know, point to point. So let me hang this up. All right. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to have the conference, which is 1000. I'm going to have it actually call our video center or our codec, our 220 codec. 104.250. So this is actually how the video center is going to place a call to a conference bridge, which is much the same as somebody calling into the conference bridge. So what you see is it'll connect. Uh, it'll say it's connected. We don't really know just yet. We could look at it, but let's just try to call back into the video center now, and we should actually see uh, the conference room. So open communicator, 2595, place that call. Okay, I'm going to enter the conference number, 1,000 plus pound. Welcome to the 
Now I'm going to start the video. Now it may be hard to see, it's a little dark, but what you're seeing here is actually, there's the video here of my short tell, which I'm not sure video on video how well that's going to show up. And over on the left hand side here is the actual conference room. You can see that it's dark and there's no lights on. Um, so there we go. We're able to set up a point to multi-point with using the Shortel communicator.